There we go. He looks really good, right? He's not too scary. He's a cute little monster, you know, but uh, <laughs> it's my first one, guys. I've never made a monster before, so bear with me on that one, please. But I think he looks absolutely phenomenal. Hey, hey, how's it going, guys? Obi here, and welcome back to another episode of Tiny Town. Now, what, what, what's that? What's that little dude to do that? You, you, you say my shirt's pretty cool, and you wish you could have one? Oh, uh, well, all you have to do is go down to the link in the description, because I'm plugging my merch in this video, and then you can have a shirt like this. You can have a shirt like this. Anyways, guys, so I have some pretty big plans for this city here, okay? Now, what I've been doing here... Mm -hmm. If I look around here, I'm thinking it looks good. It looks good, but it's lacking that grand, giant scheme of things. You know, it needs to be like a big, voluptuous metropolitan. It needs to be bigger, is what I'm saying. I need this city to be massive. I need it to be humongous. Also, also, I've been reading all y'all's comments, okay? All y'all's comments. Every single one of them. Every single one. Now, one thing somebody said was to make these smaller, and I completely agree. Like, these should be a little bit bigger than a car. They should be, like, like that big. That's, like, normal airplane size. This? This is bigger than a building! What kind of... What kind of aircraft is this? So these need to be a little bit smaller. Not too small. Because these actually do get pretty big in real life. You know, if you ever stand next to an airplane, they're pretty massive. But, uh, they're not this big. This is ridiculous. There we go. That looks a little bit more realistic. Not as cool, but a little bit more realistic, yeah? Um... They would, this guy would not be dive bombing right here, because this is, a uh, this is death. <laughs> this is how people get hurt. However, okay, that's not what we're doing today. What we're going to do here is a lot. I have a lot of plans here for this city. So let me go ahead and read some of the suggestions I've gotten so far. We want, uh, some of you guys want an airport. Uh, we need a racetrack. We're, we're needing giant monsters and robots, apparently. That's a thing that we need, um... I'm thinking maybe like an octopus monster coming out of the water or something and attacking the city would be pretty cool. Uh, we need like a big old, uh, like New York City. We need lots of streets, lots of traffic and big buildings and stuff like that. And there's also a little surprise, something that I came up with that I want to put in here. So, uh, I'm gonna show you guys that once we get to it here. But we gotta start something, okay? I gotta stop procrastinating because I don't know where to go from here. And we gotta start something here. So I'm thinking maybe if we bring the city out more like this. Like this, hold on. You're about to see what I'm doing here soon. So we're gonna do something like this. And we're gonna bring the city out a little bit more. Come on, like that. And we're gonna double decker this. There's gonna be more buildings facing this way here. So let's see, we're gonna need another turn in lane like so. Um, Maybe like that here. If we keep it like this, that means we can extend it out even further. Um, This is gonna be like a little commercial area here though. Nothing too crazy, okay? We're not getting into the craziness yet. There we go, guys. Now we got a little bit of a square here, so we have a lot more stuff we could put, like, right in this middle part here. Now, on this side, obviously, we have some buildings here like that. We have some dumpsters in the back. That's pretty standard. There should be more buildings right here, too, facing this side of the street here. Like a little, um, like a little area where you go shopping, you know, a little shopping center here. So we kind of used all the shopping areas here, so I'm thinking maybe some apartments back here. Or would that be kind of weird? We could do office buildings. Like, whoa. Big old grand buildings here, yeah? Will they even fit? Oh, jeez. No, maybe this isn't the right spot for that. Is that gone? Did I, did I throw that away? I think I threw it away. We'll just do like normal buildings like this. Like this, this could be a store. Could be like a, like a movie rental store or something like that. Guys, check out what I found here. Okay, I found a little mega mall corner mall area here. It has a little butcher's area and a little hardware store in there too. And this is exactly what I wanted here. It takes up a big portion of the area here. So it looks more full, a little bit more populated. You know what I mean? I don't want it to look so empty like this. I need something right here. And this needs to go down here. So we need more buildings here. Absolutely. Uh, let's put this on a corner maybe. Right there. It's a corner, it's a corner theater. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add a little uh, mechanic shop right here across from the theater while you're getting your car worked on. You can go watch yourself a movie. I think that's a pretty fantastic idea right there. That's perfect. We'll put a little burger sign on top of the burger store. Is it on there? It's not really... Oh, there it goes. Okay, yeah, burger sign on top of the burger store to symbolize, hey, we got burgers here. Uh, I think it's a gas station, but I'm not ready for that level of... Uh, Stuff here. Maybe a barber shop right here. You know, go to get your haircut. You get your haircut here. 
And while you wait, you go get some ice cream. Wait, you don't wait to get a haircut. Well, maybe you sign in, you sign a piece of paper, and then you gotta wait for your barber to get ready. So yeah, you'll you'll sign in, we'll get an ice cream while you wait for them to call your name. And then you go back and have some ice cream. Golden, it's coming out really nicely. Have a little alleyway here so you can walk through, you know, in case employees need to walk through. Okay. Okay, so we kind of industrialized this area a little bit, or commercialized it rather. Let's see here. We need a place where people live, huh? like a little neighborhood, yeah? You know what? Instead of the neighborhood, let's hold off on that. What I want to do here is make this huge area, a big old area over here, just a big old bustle and city. Okay, I want like tons of activity over here, like huge buildings, you know, like hot dog stands, a big old city set. That's what I really want. So where's the roads here? Can I just grab one here? Pull it out like that. Turn it like that. Pull it out. We're going to go out a little ways here because this city is going to take up a lot of room, I think. Oh, you know what? Let's get some ground planted first and then we'll worry about that. So for the ground, I think we're going to change the color to concrete here. No, let's keep it all the same color. I like the dark gray concrete. Okay, guys, so we're just going to get some massive buildings here. We're going to get skyscrapers, anything that's really large to really make the city just like explode, like really pop alive, you know? I want something that's going to be like just massive. Okay, don't want the same ones next to each other, though. Uh, we want a little diversity here, you know? This this is like apartment place or uh, workplace or whatever. Now, see, guys, this is what I was talking about right here. See how the buildings are kind of like popping up a little bit higher here? We got a little bit of like a metropolis thing going over here, you know? It doesn't have a lot of traffic yet. We're still we're still getting there. It doesn't have a lot of people either, but hey, I'm working on it, okay? I'm getting something here. I want to fill in this little gap here, but I'm not sure what to put. Ooh. What is this? This is like a water thing. No, get back into towns, man. Jeez. Okay, guys. So I added some stuff over here. Now we need to add some vehicles. Okay, this place needs to start looking a little bit busy here. You know, we got a lot of buildings here. Very tall. Where are the vehicles at? Town vehicles. Let's get some normal work cars in here, yeah? Yeah, they're on the right side of the road. Okay, I'm just making sure everything's lining up here. Let's get some people driving around. Doing some things, you know? And then maybe we'll set up a little scene, like a giant monster or something. That'd be really cool. Or maybe like some kids playing with some Hot Wheels in like a little neighborhood or something. So many options, guys. So many options here. Okay, there we go. I added a bunch of little vehicles down this road here. Some right here as well. Over here, we have a little bit of traffic. Got some buses here. We got a little, uh, is this a milk truck there? We got a police officer. He's riding a little close here. He's actually checking this guy's uh, license plate here to make sure he's a... Uh, a good citizen of the law here. We got some more people over here too. All right. Now we got to get into the, the the nitty gritty of it. The hard part. Building a giant sea monster coming out of the water. And maybe like trying to crawl in this bridge or something. That'd be really cool. Okay. So the only problem is, is there's no like, there's no sea monster, obviously. That, that I know of. I think we have to build it out of parts. And I kind of have an idea. But I'm not sure how it's going to come out yet. See, if we come over here to primitive... There's a lot of pieces over here that we can really use to build something kind of creative here. I'm thinking maybe some kind of giant octopus coming out of the water would be pretty cool. Um, let's do it like an orange octopus here. Okay, so this is going to take me a bit. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, so bear with me on this one, guys. <laughs> okay, just so you guys can kind of follow along and see what I'm doing here. <laughs> this is the octopus monster's head. Uh, this is his eyeballs here, and that's his little mouth. Uh, he needs a little bit of a tongue. He needs like a little, uh, ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. A little spiky. Let's make that a little bit bigger here. A little bit bigger, like right there. Eh. <laughs> He's sticking out his tongue. He's like, eh. You know, that's what I want to do, guys. That's why I'll be here and be an octopus. Now, this arm's going that way. Then we have another arm coming out the other way. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. Okay, guys, check it out. Now, I know this is not an octopus, okay? Um, let me get over here real quick and show you what I got here. Um, it's definitely not an octopus, okay? It's something, though. You know, uh, he has spikes on the end of his hands here. And he's he's wrapping around the bridge here. He's kind of attacking. He's fixed some finer details here. There we go. He looks really good, right? He's not too scary. He's a cute little monster. You know, but, uh, <laughs> it's my first one, guys. I've never made a monster before, so bear with me on that one, please. But I think he looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, it kind of makes this guy look a little silly, huh? Like, he's over here, and the airplanes are after this guy, but shouldn't they be after the giant sea monster that's about to destroy, like, I don't know, the bridge, maybe? 
Hmm. What else can I do over here to make it really stand out? Guys, I have an amazing idea here, okay? What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, I'm gonna spread out the water like this, okay? Spread it out like this, get all this water filled up. All this water filled up. I like, I like having all this area to be water here, you know? I really like the water, how it looks, and this meshes with the city really well here. What we're gonna do is make a giant robot monster, like from Pacific Rim. If you guys have never seen Pacific Rim, it's like giant robots versus giant alien monsters, basically. So that's what we're gonna do here. And this eyeball is a little weird. Go get that in there. Perfect, okay. And I think how we're gonna do it here is we're gonna go to, let's see, crates. We're gonna use crates to make an amazing looking robot, guys, okay? Give me one minute here. I got it. This is gonna be awesome. Okay, guys, I may have got a little bit carried away with this here. Okay, so uh, this is Super Gear Man. I think I'm calling him here. So basically, I made his legs out of crates. His little foot's a crate too. I tried to simulate it, make it look like he's running towards the monster a little bit. It's kind of hard to get it perfect though. His body is made out of little, uh, let me show you here. Little, little gears. That's all it is, little gears right there. Pretty cool. His head's just a big old square thing. Uh, his eyes are actually um, railroad lights, I believe those are. And this mouthpiece right here is used for stopping cattle. Uh, this is something to do with the water, like boats or something like that. I'm not sure. I just made it really big, like a hook. And then over here, I made him a Mega Blaster. It's going to shoot like a giant Mega Man blaster at the monster. Crazy, I know. I, I went a little overboard here, guys. Uh, my city was pretty serious, and now it's pretty goofy. But uh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay, it's unique. We need some waves over here. How do I do waves? That might be kind of hard to do. I guess I'd have to do like that, maybe. Hmm. Oh, th this snaps on the ground, though, maybe. How would I do this? I think I have all snap and disable, and it still wants to do it. I don't think I could do waves. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look into that one. Okay, guys, so let's see what is next. Man, I've been playing this game for about two hours today. I am seriously addicted to Tiny Town. This is by far the best game in the world. It just has to be. Okay, it has to be. Um, but what do we need to do now? Um, <laughs> maybe a hot dog stairs. <laughs> we need people. We need people. Okay, let's try to find some city work people. That guy has a suit and tie on. He's a businessman. Is it so? Uh, businessman. Yeah, business people. I need more business people. He's a nerd. It's, it's, it says nerd. Hey, nerds, go there. Oh, I need to put snapping back on. Guys, check this out. When I get really up to it, like when I make a really big... Jeez! Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness! This is massive! Oh, oh. Like, if I was, like, doing a tour of my city, like, I guess I'd be like this... I'd be way smaller. Uh oh Okay. Bigger. That's as big as this roll would get, I think. I can't get any bigger than this. Guys, look at this! Whoa! This is nuts! Wow, I never realized how close you could really get down to, like, the bottom of the city here. You know, I guess if we play, like... Okay, that is a problem. That's one problem with playing like this. Shrinkify! Shrink it down. Okay. Well, that's not good. <laughs> okay, I fixed it. It's fine. But jeez, I just like playing it when it's this big. It's just so weird. It's just so crazy. I, like, I just want to walk around without messing anything up. I wish I could walk around without clicking things. Careful, OB. Careful, don't click anything. Nice and easy. Let's go see how the birthday party's doing. These kids look like they're having a really good time, don't they? Whoa, guys, we got to do a first person tour of this city once we are done because this is absolutely incredible. Jeez, I feel like I'm really here. That looks so cool. I love this. Okay, so let's turn our attention to the city. A lot of times in cities, they have like hot dog stands and stuff like that. So let's see if we can find like a hot dog stand. Maybe, maybe uh, this hippie here. Maybe he's right here. Oh, no, guys, I think the game crashed and I don't think it's going to save. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, thank goodness, guys. We're back. And it's saved. Oh. What is that way up there? What is this? There's land up here. Oh. Guys. <laughs> oh, man. You have no idea. I'm recording this the night before it goes live, okay? It's 11 p.m. right now. I still have to edit it. This took me about two hours to do. 
If I would have lost this, I would have legit lost my mind. But we're okay. We're fine. We're fine. Back. Did my hippie save? My hippie's not there. That's okay. That's okay. Where's my hippie at? Come back, dude. Where's the exact hippie that I used? I have no idea. We'll use... I think this guy was it. Get down there, buddy. Okay, he's down there. Now, we need to make him a hot dog stand. How do I do that? Maybe they have a pre-made hot dog stand. I don't think so, though. I don't... I didn't see anything like that. Yeah, I'm not seeing any hot dog stands, guys. That's a shame. Whoa, that building's really close. Jeepers. Whoa, there's a hot dog right here. Okay, there's a hot dog. We have a hot dog now, so that's a that's a start to a hot dog stand. Absolutely. Maybe... What is this? A, this is jam. Put jam there. I might use that for something. Look at this guy. We've got sodas. we got iPhones. Smartphone. My my apologies. Smartphone. I don't know iPhone. we got tacos. Give me this palette here. I might need that. Okay, so I went through the whole thing. I didn't see a hot dog stand, unfortunately. So we're probably going to have to build our own. Now, I'm trying to think the best way to do that. Maybe out of these pallets here. Maybe we could do something like this. Hmm. It's just a... I mean, a hot dog stand is just a cart, right? See here? A little cart. That's a little big. Jeez. Bring it down a little bit. So I'm going to take this hot dog here, make it really big, and I'll put it up here. Kind of like it's a... It's, it's, it's showing, like, hey, I sell hot dogs. Well, let's turn off the snapping. Actually, that's not pretty well. I wanted a little closer, though. Let's see if I can get a better. Um, how do I do this? Snap in here. Turn it off. There we go. Kind of signifying, hey, I sell hot dogs. Some benches over here, you know, to eat your food while you watch the traffic go by. No big deal. Actually, let's have a hot dog eating place over here, you know? People sitting under the under the umbrellas here. Like that, you know? Make that a little better. There we go. Kind of sit under the shade a little bit, you know? Enjoying a nice hot dog lunch. This whole area is designated for hot dogs. This is a hot dog day. And the benches have been moved a little bit. They're not bolted to the ground, so customers are free to move the benches if they want to move a little bit closer, a little out into the sun or anything like that. And now this guy needs a place where he makes his hot dogs. And then we're good to go. So I have a giant kiwi here. This is going to be what he makes his hot dogs on. It's like a little table for him. Actually, a little bigger than that. Be nice. There we go. He, he makes it on the giant kiwi. And then he stores all his hot dog in his giant muffin. We're getting creative here, boys. That's all it is. There. This guy sells hot dogs. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. I need more hot dogs. I need, I need to show my public that hot dogs are being sold here, but I need small ones. Small hot dogs. You know, people want it. People come all over from town to see the man selling hot dogs out of a giant muffin. Okay? There we go. A little bit like that. There we go. It's saying, hey, I sell hot dogs. I keep them in this muffin, I cook them up on a giant stove-like kiwi, I have a sign here, and I have sitting space. I don't need that. There's a floating hot dog here, I don't need that. Okay, guys, I think we're gonna call this one here. So guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this episode of Tiny Town. I really went the extra mile here. I want to do more grand things like this. Um, I mentioned earlier that I want to do like a uh, airport. I said I wanted to do UFOs and aliens, zombies. Oh, uh, y'all mentioned a racetrack. Lots of ideas are being tossed around here, and trust me, I'm going to continuously play Tiny Town for as long as it's around, as long as possible. Don't worry, guys. I'm in love with this game, and I don't have any plans to stop playing it anytime soon. So if this is your favorite series and you're enjoying it, make sure to leave it a big old fat thumbs up on this video. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below. Leave me some suggestions, some ideas, and I can probably do it. If I could do this... I can basically do anything, okay? This game is possible for me to build in. Anyways, guys, thanks once again for watching, and I'll see all you cool cats in the next video. Bye-bye.